Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial about Affinity Photo and patterns, creating patterns from type or text in Affinity Photo. So I've got some uh, designs here, and this is obviously just created very quickly using artistic text. And of course, it could be any font, any color, all those sorts of things. But I've just got this design, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a quick pattern from it. Now you go over here to layers and the key thing is view and studio and layers. There it is. Well, go to layers and you can then go to new pattern layer from selection. However, it will not work. So if I try it, nothing happens. A strange, it doesn't seem to work. Now it should, I know, it should actually convert it and turn it into a pixel layer for you. However, it needs to be a pixel layer. So what you do, go to layer, and you can use Merge Visible if you want, or just Rasterize. So Rasterize just turned it into a pixel layer. Now, as a pixel layer, what you can do, you can go to Layer, and go down to Pattern Layer from Selection, obviously it's selected there, and you've got your design there. Now, of course, you've got the original design still there, it hasn't been moved, so, but I can just deselect it, and there's the pattern there. And you can rotate that design, you can share it, now, it's, of course, it's a pixel layer now, so you can't push it too far, otherwise it'll just degrade. You can certainly push it to a reasonable degree. And of course, what you can do, you can always go to Layer, and you can Duplicate. And you can then, so you can create all kinds of very quick designs, and you can resize it, of course, and those are from that basic design. Now, I'm just going to remove those ones, but I'm going to bring back the old one. So there's the old one. Now what I'm going to do, I can also, instead of just using the whole thing, what you can do, I'm just going to go over here, and there's obviously a rectangle, but I'm going to go with freehand. So you can select it, and also you can set up a feather. So maybe make it a bit, a bit of feather in there, and you can just draw over it. You don't have to use the whole thing. So you can see, you can just create that. That's a selection, and what you can do, you can go to layer, and again, as long as it's a pixel layer, that's all that matters. New pattern layer from selection, and you can see your design there. Again, you of course can remove the old one, and then you can resize, and you can see your design there. And again, you do all the same sort of things, share it, etc. Now I'm just going to go to another one. Here's another. So this one's frame. So you've got frame as well. So there's the frame text tool, and with frame text now I can do exactly the same. Got that done there. What I can do? Go to layer. And I can do new pattern from section. It will not work. You need to convert it. So go to layer and rasterize. Always do that or merge, merge visible if you want to do that as well. But rasterize just as easy. So pixels. Now as a pixel layer, what you can do, you can go to layer and you can go to new pattern layer from selection. And you can see the result. Now I'm just going to remove the underlying layer and go back to the pattern. And there is the pattern. And you can see now. You can rotate it, shear it, create all kinds of lovely designs using that. And of course, again, exactly the same as before, you can duplicate it. But also what you can do, you can go over here, layer, new live filter layer, and you can maybe do distort and twirl. So there's twirl, and you can apply a twirl effect to the design. See the design there. Now that's not applied all up, just that central bit. But you can go to the pattern still, and you can still modify that design. And create all kinds, and move it around, of course, etc. Rotate. And you can still modify 12. So you can double click on that, and you can resize it and modify it. So you can create some very interesting. Yeah. Now I'm going to go to another one, and you've got this one, is you can see it's multiple. Got different colors, it's the same, obviously, text. But again, because they're frame text, you can't use them. So what you can do, go to Layer, and I can rasterize. Also, I can use Merge Visible. So Layer Menu, Merge Visible. So they're all merged into them. I can deselect them. I can keep them if I want, of course, but they're still there. So you can always go back to them and use them again if you want. But now what you can do, you could use the whole lot as before for a selection. It's perfectly reasonable. But you can also, if you want, you could combine maybe with a a shape and then obviously rasterize that as well to make it part of the pixel or maybe apply effects so you can go to say like blur brush 
and I'm just going to quickly apply blur brush over that and you know maybe another paint tool paintbrush just I just applying quickly just some there but as long as the pixel thing is selected there now what I can do I can always go and again quickly look for it there's the rectangle and I could use elliptical got a reasonable as well so elliptical select that and now now I've got no feather in at this point so it doesn't particularly matter on that what I can do then layer and new pattern layer from selection and you can see your design repeated there and again you can remove the old one and you can see the design which you can then resize rotate resize like that squeeze it and create all kinds of stuff and of course also duplicate it as well as if you want to go and add say a layer and new layer filter layer maybe blur or distort liquefy or twirl or ripple so you can see the ripple effect there so you can change the position of the ripple and you've got the text it's still available and you can still go to the pattern and you can change that and you can see that will ripple create some very interesting effects <laughs> if you want to do that and of course you can then all this point all the way through this what you can do you can always file an export you can save it or of course go to the standard save as etc so you can go back to that or and also what you can do if you want you can recolor it as well and of course you can add multiple pattern layers on top and do many more things like that well i hope you found this of interest Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Finity Photo, Finity Designer, Finity Publisher, Photoshop, Illustrator, Critter, and many, many others. Also, please put some comments. What things did I do wrong? Right. Please let me know. Things you'd like to see me do. Also, dislike or like. Always appreciate it. Thank you much.